and welcome back YouTubers to cover two credits. Today we're going to be running down some trailers. We're going to start with the new Pixar, Inside Out. I believe it comes out either in, I think it's either late May or early June. I'm not, I'm not 100%. We'll know by the end of the video. Uh, a lot of people are getting hyped for this being one of the best Pixar movies possibly ever. And that that's a large... Target that's a, to that's put a, on. That's a big. That's a big statement. That's a big statement. That's a large Tough target to, to put on a Pixar movie. Story one. I completely agree. Pixar was Big Hero Six, right? Too. Yeah, and that Big by, Hero Six I mean, was excellent. It, that's a recommendation. If you haven't seen Big Hero Six, do it. Go see it. It's out now. It you is can buy really, it. Really good. It is a very, very good cartoon. Pixar has been kind of slumping, but I think Big Hero Six sort of yeah. left them out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll also throw this out there. Uh, AMC has a YouTube channel, okay, and they do a movie talk to you. It's called AMC Movie Talk Daily. Well, what they like to do every March is a different bracket. Last year it was superhero movies. The final two came down to Avengers versus The Dark Knight. I don't remember which one won, but that's besides the point. I don't like Avengers. Fans, like fans vote. Fans vote. So this year's bracket, best animated movie. Yeah, so they just announced the uh, the the thirty two teams that are in it, the thirty two movies that are in it, and the voting starts I think the it's next Lion few weeks. Lion King because it's gonna be Lion King. Lion King's in, but I mean you're talking How to Train Your Dragon, you're talking Ooh. Big Hero Six. You, I mean there are some there are some juggernaut. Lion King, How to Train Your Dragon. And they also Hero have Six. some. Is it Miyamoto? They also have some Miyamoto. I think it's Miyamoto cartoons. Oh, like the moving it's in there too. Oh. Like these guys, these guys aren't slouches. Big they know their stuff. So there's cool. some. There's some. So it's, it'll be interesting to see. Maybe Hell's that's something we'll do. So is do some update videos when they start dwindling down those teams to see what people think and yeah, cool. link to it. Yeah. So the first thing we're gonna do is uh, Inside Out, but we've watched it. So we'll pause and play. I'll be playing it for you guys again. So. Uh, yeah, uh, at the end of all this, we'll have to see what you guys think. So, here, let's get this going. So, Riley, how was the first day of school? Fine, I guess. Did you guys pick up on that? Sure mm -hmm. did. Something's wrong. Signal the husband. <clears throat> Uh-oh, she's looking at us. What did she say? Oh, sorry, sir. No one was listening. Is it garbage night? Uh, we left the toilet. So we'll start here. This just shows that uh, understanding women's signals are uh, next to impossible. Uh, it, it just doesn't happen. Whether or not you're paying attention or not. <clears throat> but uh, I thought this was a, a funny look. Also, you get an uh, introduction to the family. Uh, Riley is kind of our main character, but the family has a lot to do with that. So far, you've kind of met everybody's emotions. And we'll continue. Up. What is it, woman? What? I'm Joy. This is sadness. That's anger. What? This is disgust. Uh, and that's fear. Ah! We're Riley's emotion. So here you've met joy, fear, sadness, anger, and envy? No. Yes. Envy. Disgust. Disgust. And uh, so these are going to be kind of more our more of our main characters as you've met but uh so far what do you think seeing kind of how they're doing this i like the school concept yeah um definitely interesting to see all of the animated emotions although i have why is the why is the fear guy always skinny and purple and everyone's brain mm -hmm. and really kind of is and, and anger is always small and red mm -hmm. all right we'll continue <laughs> these are riley's memories they're mostly happy, you'll notice, not to brag. I wanted to maybe hold one. What happened? Sadness. She did something to the memory. Is everything okay? I don't know. Take it back, Joy. It's me. Joy, no, Let's wait. Go. The core memories. Ah! No, 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 no. Ah! So as you see, everything kind of hits the fan, and all of Riley's memories get... Not all of them. Just her core memory. Uh, they get knocked out, but if you look, there are no memories left. Yeah, but this isn't her short-term memory. In her long-term memory, that's the oldest shelves. Yeah. All the memories. So all the short-term memories. And all of her core memories. And all of her core memories get Exploded. pushed into her long-term memory. I don't know. They get vacuumed out of the control room. Yeah, to where everybody's kind of looking confused and not really understanding. So 
We will see how this unfolds. Can I say that curse word now? What do we do now? Nothing's working. Why isn't it working? We have a major problem. Oh, I wish Joy was here. We can fix this. We just have to get back to headquarters. That's long-term memory. You could get lost in there. Think positive. Okay. I'm positive you will get lost in there. So you see what long-term memory looks like. Reminds me of the archives where they hide the covenant, or the Ark of the Covenant. And uh, I like how literal sadness is here with the whole, I'm positive you're going to get lost in there. <laughs> what do you think? I think with the Halo archives with the little guilty spark. Oh, not quite like that. <laughs> I guess maybe, but think that looks more like, like empty I, back I space. You. But no. No. Not like that. Well, there was. Yeah. Pick yeah. out Johnson. <laughs> every no, every Johnson. single every episode or every single game. You think Johnson? Johnson? You should just stay in your house. I think. Yeah, probably. All right, we'll continue. Yeah. What was that? Was it a bear? There are no bears in San Francisco. I saw a really hairy guy. He looked like a bear. This place is huge. Imagination Land. No way. Dream Productions. <laughs> I thought that was cool how they explained how in the mem in your mind how they explained imagination and how they explained dreams and imagination land is like an amusement park and dreams studios or whatever it was how, how they word it dream productions. dream productions is like a movie studio like that makes perfect sense to me i like that it's an interesting way to describe that no unicorn she's right there i loved you in fairy dream adventure part seven okay bye i love you Focus on what's going wrong. There's always a way to turn things around. It's Brockley! Congratulations! So, if you did, haven't noticed this yet, you'll see in a moment who this is, but I don't think they could have picked a better person to, to anger. play anger. No. No, I don't think they could have. It's, it's next to impossible for them to pick somebody better. Not since George Carlin died. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Uh, yeah, I... Nobody better than Lewis Black. San Francisco, give Ruin pizza. Who's the birthday girl? So you saw the clown. I can only imagine that they get into an area for nightmares. Yeah, probably. And that's where the clown comes in. I also think the voice of the clown was John C. Riley, but I could be wrong. So seeing uh, Brain Freeze was kind of funny. Hang on! Finally, <laughs> 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 here we come! June 19th, like I said, we figured that out. So, overall, for it, as a trailer, looking forward to it, not looking forward to it. Uh, the movie itself? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's good. I, th I, I think it's so. It's a solid trailer. I think so. Nothing spectacular, but like I said, I think the movie will be good. It draws you in. One thing I've noticed looking watching all these trailers, you will get a movie that has a god-awful trailer. And what I mean by that is, is it either shows way too much or shows nothing to make you want to see the movie. This? Was that one movie we were watching with the trailer? With the crazy Nazis and then writing the dinosaurs. Oh, <laughs> it's some. It, I'll have to find that. There is a made. I think it's a straight to DVD movie, and it's called like Iron Sky. Remember? Something like that. So Iron Sky, and it was some like crazy. Anyway. anyway. Yeah. Either way, <laughs> this movie. I'm looking forward to it. The trailer was good. This is the second trailer released. Uh, again, I mean, Pixar, or Disney. It's been a long time since they've not just hit one out of the park. I mean, they all have been great, but they mean. They deliver consistent quality. Yeah. And Big Hero 6 was the last animated movie that's come out. And that was... Excellent. And they're talking about this being better. People that have like gotten to see screeners and stuff like that for this, that are, that are reviewers, are talking about them hyping this as possibly the best movie to come out from them for a, forever. Which is a huge mark. 
So we shall see come June. Best Pixar movie ever. That's throwing the gauntlet. Yeah, that it is really a is. Big, big, that, heavy that's gauntlet. That's a huge hammer getting dropped somehow. So we will see, and I, I know both of us will probably be there to see it. So uh, let us know if there's any other trailers you haven't seen or want to see. We got a couple more we're gonna film, and uh, we'll see if they're as good or as bad as this trailer. And uh, we'll continue Man. on. So you know, like, subscribe. Tell us what other movies you think you want to see trailers for. There's some new ones coming out. I watch trailers all the time. I'll try to get him to see some of them. So, uh, I watch movies sometimes. Trailers is what I'm talking about. Why do we watch the trailers? Today? I like watching trailers to see what's coming out. Because if there's a garbage trailer and looks like a garbage movie, I'm not quite as excited. Never judge a book by its cover and never judge a movie by its trailer. Uh, yeah, I know, but I still, if the movie's not out, all I can do is judge the trailer. You're profiling right now. It's okay, Film though. Naked. Ooh. Ooh. That hurt. Bye. Right. bye. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thank you for staying until after the credits. I like the ending. <laughs> I like the ending. Sometimes it's got to sprint to the finish, fellas. Destroying my life. <laughs>